all the things I do for you boys and girls. It's uh, just coming to half past seven on a Sunday morning and I'm out here at the dump. We're going to have a bit of a bottle dig today. As you can see there's uh, bits of bottles lying around. Fox Stout, small plain, uh, plain bottle. Uh, what looks like a, a pepper cellar, yeah, salt cellar, pepper, uh, pepper shaker. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm going to find myself a little spot, and I'm going to get dug in, and we're going to go from there. All right, back in one moment. Well, I've picked my spot. And funnily enough, it's the uh, it's the spot I was in uh, last time I was at this dump when I was a little bit hungover, and I uh, didn't get much last time. But I'm going to work my way through, see what I can find, and hopefully we're going to get something good today. So hang tight, and I will be back when we find the first bottle. Well, there's a plain Jane bottle, and uh, I did get a, a wee broken clay pipe, plain one. The uh, stoneware that was just sitting on the surface, somebody's already dug that up, but I'm going to take that anyway because uh, it's in pretty good condition. So, but yeah, just had a bit of a cave in as I'm just working my way down, but uh, no, that, uh, that plain Jane just popped out from here, so, so it's always a good sign. You can see the imprint of it there actually. So this is a good sign that uh, this has been part of the dump. Anyway, on we go. Well, here we go. There's, uh, there's a dark glass bottle. I'm going to get my little fork and we'll work that one out. We'll have a look. Hang tight. Okay, well, as you can see, I just started scraping away. There's actually two bottles there now. All right, I'll get these out and we shall see if there's anything embossed on them. Here's hoping. Well, well, just as I thought, they're, uh, they're plain uh, green glass bottles. Nothing on them, nothing embossed at all. Um, but it's a good sign that there's stuff here. So uh, we will carry on. Oh, that one's full of dirty water. Lovely. Probably, uh, probably a whiskey bottle or a wine bottle. More than likely a wine bottle. Um, maybe even a, a pint beer and a half pint beer. But anyway, we'll never know, I suppose. On we go. It's uh, it's always good practice when you when you're shoveling out to uh, to check your spoil every so often as well. Uh, because you miss little things that get thrown out. Look, I missed, uh, I missed this little uh, stoneware jar, although it's quite uh, modern, really, in the great scheme of things. But uh, even so, I missed that. And I also missed this little snap top uh, bottle. Nothing on it, but uh, again, probably 30s or 40s. But, uh, but yeah, it's always worthwhile checking what you're shoveling out. Just have a quick glance every so often and uh, see if there's anything that comes out on your shawl that you don't, you, you're you not seeing. Anyway, I shall, uh, I shall carry on because as you can probably see the sweat is pouring out on me now and I've only been going for, oh gosh, must be half an hour at that and uh, I should have brought my hat to uh, keep the sweat out of my eyes but on, on we go. There you go. There's another little stoneware pot. Well, uh, is it chipped? Sorry. No, I don't think it's chipped. Anyway, that'll go with the other one. So two of those we got. Slightly bigger, actually. Slightly different colour as well. Oh. Well, I'm just going to have a break for ten minutes just to try and cool down a wee bit. Because the sweat is just pouring out of me. Because it's hard going today. 
lots of shoveling. Soil's pretty soft because it's rained recently, so, uh, so it's caving in quite easy. But uh, no, we'll keep on going. Well, <coughs> that's the spoil we've moved so far. And uh, I've just pulled out a little uh, little snap top there. It's only a turn a little thing, look. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, we have to keep going. I've uh, taken my shirt off, as you can see. I'm not going to uh, subject you to uh, my uh, flabby body at the moment. Uh, but uh, we're going to carry on and see what we get. I'm going to work my way over there. I think there's not a lot, but over here there seems to be things like rubble and stuff, which would make me think there's a cap. This is like the capping area here. So there's a cap here and then stuff's below that. So uh, yeah, we'll give it our best shot anyway. Well, <clears throat> I'm going down and down and down. And I just pulled that out. No idea what's in that. Oh, <laughs> he says dropping it. There's something in there, but folks, if this is the start of the uh, the zombie apocalypse when I open this, then uh, I apologise. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to empty that out. So, uh... so there's a little female robin just hopping about in this bush over here. Look. I'm gonna know as you see what I'm doing. Yeah, I can see you. Anyway, so uh, uh, you've probably seen in bottle digging videos people talk about the ash or getting into the ash layer, and, and this is what you're looking for, really. Is this? Uh, these are my anti cut gloves, by the way. So I'm quite happy to to dig around in here. But uh, this is the stuff you're looking for, and the reason it's called ash is because it's from fire ashes. So when people had open coal fires, um, they used to put their uh, their ashes into a bin which was collected and then dumped and uh, obviously uh, this is what we look for when we're digging so uh, so yeah just to give you an idea you'll find bits of uh, bits of coal and coke there you go a piece of coal there or coke whatever it is uh, that was uh, cleaned out uh, when the fire was emptied the next day and put in the bin and so yeah it just gives you an idea what we're looking for we're looking for that fresh stuff um, sometimes further up you'll see Oh, there's a little bottle there, look. <laughs> Completely missed it, look. There you go. Modern thing is that cork top, but uh, probably a little meds bottle of some description. But uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, well, yeah, there you go. There's just a little bit of uh, bit of uh, a digging tip for you. Now oh, there. Stoneware in the hole there. So let's... Uh, let me see if I can get this. Well, there you go. Plain ink. Remnants of a label on there. Don't think there's a maker's stamp on it. But it's in one piece. And it just... Oh, I thought that was the cork still in it. Yeah, that is the cork still in it. Oh my God. Well, there you go. Cork still in the ink. Ugh. I'll take that. I'll keep that. Cool. Like I say, a cork still in it. That tells me that there's older stuff down here. Well, a few more bits. Uh, Scots emulsion. A uh, little castle brand. And a little square uh, snap top. Uh, I, can't remember, I think I've shown you that thing as well. So. Uh, no, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Down in this ash at the bottom. I must admit now every part of me is sweating now. Which is nice. <laughs> there's, uh, there's an older pipe just come out. Sorry, it's, uh, it's Bob's. Uh, Bob's is actually, uh, there's a flag on the other side as well, here, yeah, uh, not a Union Jack, a uh, British flag. A, uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, Lord Roberts, uh, look him up, interesting man, um, I think he was Boer War 
general so yeah that's uh, that was to uh, to celebrate uh, Lord Roberts well now what's that there because that looks blue to me let's see if we can get it out live for you well I think that's about oh Oh, oh, lovely little blue meds bottle. What's left of a label on there as well. Although, I don't think we're going to see what that says. Oh, hang on one moment. Well, I'll tell you what. If anybody knows what that says, leave a comment down below. MAS something. Square blue bottle, that's lovely. Not a poison, but we'll take it. Well, we've had a bit of a cave in, but uh, it has revealed some uh, some pieces over here. So first of all, that's probably a castle brand there. That one. Uh, yeah, it's blank, but more than likely it was a, a castle brand. One over there. We've got some more here. Oh, there's another one behind there as well. Oh, another little one there. Look. A little one there. Ooh, don't know if you can see that. Hang on. That better. There you go. That's better, isn't it? It's I'm steaming up. It's because I'm so hot. Whew. Oh, you know it. Oh, lordy lord. Looks like a bovril there. Yeah, a little two ounce bovril. Good stuff. Bovril Limited. What else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, looks like a little jar in there as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Screw top jar by the looks of it. It is embossed. Let's see what it says on it. Let me clean this off one second. Well, I've cleaned it off. You probably can't read it, but they're just arcing across there. It says Cheesebra and Co. Brooklyn. New, New York. Yeah, Brooklyn, New York. So that, I believe, is a Vaseline. This one's still in here. Let's see if I can get that one out without getting coated up. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, blank. Blank as the day it was made. Oh well. So I've got uh, plants uh, prickly meal front and centre as well. Oh, there's that one over in that side. Is that? Sorry, at me. Oh, steaming up again. Let's see if we can get this one here, look. There we go. And that is a broken, is what that is. And that was a uh, Yorkshire Relish. Good all and back house, Yorkshire Relish. That's what that one was. All right. All right. Well, I wonder what that is there. Oh, I wonder what that is as well. Alright, hang on. Let me get my little scrapey scrape scraper. And we'll, we'll tackle this to Oh, there's something there as well. Blue. Oh, what's that? That's broken anyway. That's a shame. And what are you? What are you? Just a jar. I suspect you might be just a plain jar. Marmalade. More than likely. Yeah, it's a marmalade, it's not a ginger beer. There's bits of bottle coming out here. Hunter and Benny. I've got one of their cods. Yeah, a plain jar there. I'll take that because that's in decent nick. As long as there's no cracks in it, I'll take that. 
They're nice little knick-knack jars, those. Sorry, we're steaming up again because of the heat here. So, uh, sorry, I'm wiping you off on my trousers there. There's all bits of uh, bits of pipe and things coming out here. But what are you there? Oh, it's a little teapot. Oh, isn't that cute? It's like a little barrel. I wonder if that was maybe a kid's teapot. What do you guys think? I think that's a little kid's teapot, that one, you know. Uh, shame it's broken, but hey-ho. Well, the big jar, it's got some chipping out of the bottom there, and it's got a chip around the rim there, so I'm not taking that with me, because my wife won't be happy. I have just found that, which is the top of a ginger beer. <laughs> broken, but uh, a few other bits and bobs. Um, all plain stuff, really. Um, I've got another jar just in there. So hopefully that one's complete. Anyway, I'll carry on. Right, it's getting slightly worrying because there are wasps about here. And I know Mark got uh, stung the other day <laughs> several times. But anyway, what have we got here? There's another plain jar. I suspect it might be. Yeah, it's another little jar. Well, the other one was cracked, that other little one that I got from over there. But that one... Well, I'll have a check of that anyway. In a wee while. There's another bottle there. Probably a good all on back house. Oh. Oh. Goodness gracious. Yeah, good all on back house Yorkshire relish. Oh well, at least we're getting stuff regular enough now. On we go. Well, a shotgun shell. Um, a couple more bottles here just uh, presenting themselves. Flat bottom one there. More than likely a uh, AG bar. And that one's got a push up in it. So I don't know what that is. Anyway, let me get them out. Let's see if we can get these out live for you. Oh dearie me. Well, it's been a long day boys and girls. <sighs> I'm so, so warm. It's not even sunny today but it's just ridiculously warm with it. Yeah, that's another plain Jane. Plain whiskey bottle by the looks of it. And this one is a... What is it? What am I going to guess right at being an AG bar? <laughs> yes I am, AG bar with the stopper still in it. <laughs> yeah, these are everywhere in this dump anyway. Far behind those last two, well, there's one there, look. It's probably an AG bar as well. I'm going to get it out. Hang tight. Well, so I'm just having a, a bite to eat here now, and uh, I'm just going to go back. The uh, the one that I said was cheese, but it's not. It's uh, it's Charles M. Higgins and Co. of uh, Brooklyn, New York. But that's a screw top, so it's uh, it's not really of any interest to me. You you guys in America probably think that's fantastic, but for us here in the UK, we we like the older stuff. Um. So yeah, a couple of bovrils there, um, a couple of the big AG bars, one there with a the stopper in, and that one that I just pulled out with a stopper in. The, uh, the clay pots, they're all cracked and chipped, which is a shame, because they're, like I said, they're nice little uh, kitchen ornaments. So, uh, so yeah, on we go anyway. Uh, like I said, it's tough going today, and I'm just, uh, I'm just taking a break at the moment, just getting a, cooling off a little bit. All right, well, uh, I will be back soon. I've had enough of that spot, boys and girls. I'm, uh, I just caved it in there, so it's nice and neat. All right, I'm going to try and find uh, a new little spot to dig. So boys and girls, I have had it.
Not a lot to find and not a lot of places to dig. You can see the sweat dripping off me now. Yeah, there's not a lot of places left to dig now. Um, holes everywhere and you're having to work through piles and piles of spoil to get to anything. So, uh, so I've just decided that uh, for today I'm going to give it up at this location. I'm going to head home. Alright, I'll see you soon. Well that's me home. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> this is actually the next day. And uh, somebody was asking me uh, how I clean bottles. Well, initially once I get home I... Uh, I leave the bottles alone for 24 hours to allow them to to climatize to uh, ambient temperatures um, because what you can find is when you when you dig a, a glass out of the ground um, if you were to put it straight into warm water or more likely hot water you'll probably find the glass will shatter and break uh, because you're shocking it uh, temperature wise <coughs> so uh, so I generally give it 24 hours to uh, to acclimatize and then what I've done here is uh, I've give these a quick soapy wash. Um, I have a bottle brush as well, which uh, you know goes uh, inside and you know cleans off most of the loose rubbish, most of the loose dirt and, and things like that. So I give them a good uh, soapy clean in uh, soapy wash in uh, warm soapy water. And then what I'm doing now is uh, you'll see inside some of these. There's these little marks here and dirt stuck at the bottom where my brush doesn't reach. I don't have a full set of brushes at the moment. but uh, So what I basically do is, uh, for that I use um, I use these uh, uh, tablets for uh, dentures, for cleaning dentures basically. Um, so as it says here, removes 50% more plaque than brushing alone. And basically it's just a, it's just a, it's just a, a tablet that you drop into water and you get this uh, fizzing and cleaning effect. So just put that back on there. So yeah, you get this uh, this fizzing and cleaning going on, and this just loosens all the all the dirt as best it can. And uh, so I allow those to uh, sit for a couple of hours now, and then I'll, uh, I'll I'll rinse them out in soapy water again. Just give them another quick uh, a quick wash, and then that should be it. Um, I got rid of the uh, the other stoneware pot that I uh, picked up uh, because it had a crack around the neck and the other bovril had a big chip out the bottom as well so I got rid of that. Um, I don't keep uh, broken items anymore uh, unless they're really rare. Um, the blue as you can see has come up absolutely beautiful. Still a bit of dirt in there as you can see that's why I'm soaking it um, but uh, but yeah that is absolutely gorgeous that's a cobalt blue they call that. Uh, it's made by throwing cobalt into the uh, into the uh, clear glass while it's being uh, while it's molten. And that gives you a blue. So uh, so yeah, and the uh, the AG bar the AG bar had the stopper in. I threw the stopper away because there was uh, a big lump of rust. I've got stoppers for that anyway, so that I've collected. Um, but it's a nice enough bottle and it's in great condition. So uh, normally I don't pick them up, but uh, as it was quite. Uh, there wasn't a lot to find yesterday. Then uh, I thought I would, uh, I thought I would take that along for my collection. <clears throat> well, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I like bottle digging, although uh, I get a little bit annoyed <laughs> when there's uh, when there's not a lot to be had. And uh, I must admit, it's getting really difficult at that dump at the moment because uh, there are lots and lots of people digging it now, and. Uh, it's kind of hard to find somewhere to dig uh, that hasn't already been dug or or isn't covered in like two tons of spoil from from another hole um, so uh, I might be back there you never know um, but anyway yeah if you enjoyed that then uh, give us a thumbs up uh, hit that like button uh, share the video if you want to uh, and if you're subscribing for the first time uh, or if you're a current subscriber and you haven't already done click the little bell to get the notifications and uh, I will see you on the next one. All right, bye for now.